I'm literally salivating right now. This is one of my favorite meals. Doing my chest and back routine, a lot of heavy compounds. Simple, quick and easy, high protein post-workout snack. Of course, the best zero calorie drink out there, Fresca, our protein cookie. What's going on everybody? Welcome to this week's video. We got full day of eating, 3,000 calories. Our calories have gone up. We are entering our lean bulking phase, but today we're gonna start off with a nice fruit smoothie. Just got my fasted cardio done, which I'm still doing even on my bulk. I still got my biker shorts on. Just finished up a nice 30 minute ride. But now it's time to eat. We're making a smoothie. The ingredients of the smoothie are very basic. We're gonna have 300 grams of our Greek yogurt, 150 grams of blueberries, 300 grams of frozen strawberries, two cups of almond milk, one banana, and two handfuls of spinach. We're gonna throw it all in the blender, blend it up, and that's our smoothie. got all of our ingredients in our blender. It's time to blend it up. There we have it. Well, I guess that's broken. Whatever. Over eight cups of smoothie right here. I unfortunately do not have a cup big enough for that. So it's probably gonna take two cups to drink this whole thing. Absolutely delicious. Real quick, we're with macros for this meal or smoothie. Oh, I totally forgot. I have another component of my breakfast. <laughs> I'm gonna make the other component, it's just me rice cakes and peanut butter, and I'll read off the macros for both. So I forgot the entire second half of my breakfast. We have the smoothie, and then also we have four rice cakes. I'm using these caramel rice cakes, and on top of the rice cakes, we have 64 grams of peanut butter distributed amongst the four. Overall, the total calories for this breakfast, I wrote it all down, <laughs> is 1,608 calories, 144 grams of carbs, 39 grams of fat, and 52 grams of protein. The rice cakes themselves, just the rice cakes and peanut butter, is 560 of the calories, 54 grams of carbs, 32 grams of fat, and 20 grams of protein. And then just the smoothie is 508 calories, 90 grams of carbs, seven grams of fat, and 32 grams of protein. Pretty good, high volume, but also very high calorie breakfast. Great way to start my day, have a lot of carbs here, and I'm literally salivating right now. This is one of my favorite meals. Delicious smoothie, some peanut butter and rice cakes. Couldn't be happier. So I'm gonna to dig into this and I'll see you guys at meal number two. I don't know if you guys can see her, but real quick, whenever peanut butter is in our house, Maisie always gets to lick the knife or spoon or whatever it is we use to scoop out the peanut butter. So got a knife right here, Maisie right there, sitting very patiently. So we're gonna go ahead and give her some peanut butter. Shake. I don't want Good, go her. Now I'll see you guys at meal number two. I know I said I'd see you guys at meal number two, but I decided today I'm gonna to film my chest and back workout. I recently put up my entire bulking routine on the lean bulking video. If you haven't seen that, check it out. But I figured why not record one of my workouts and throw it on my full day of eating for you guys. So we're gonna be doing my chest and back routine, a lot of heavy compounds here. Great way to build up that thickness in your chest and back. So without further ado, I'm gonna sip on some pre-workout, get warmed up, and jump right into it. Real quick, I'm gonna throw the workout on the screen now. Go ahead and screenshot that. Exercises, sets, reps, all that good stuff. And then we'll go ahead and record some clips, throw on some music, and yeah, enjoy. We gon' break up, then we make up. Act like we're gonna be friends. There's the fire, take me higher. Leave it all over again, all over again.
Hopefully you guys can hear me over the lawnmower outside. Regardless, that wraps up our workout. Let's head inside for meal number two. Our second meal or post-workout meal is gonna be something super simple. It's gonna be two of these cottage cheese packets, some hot sauce, just on some toast. I've got this low calorie bread. It is the Sara Lee honey whole wheat bread. I'm gonna do four slices of bread, two packets of cottage cheese, and some hot sauce. I have no idea why, but I cannot eat cottage cheese alone. I need to put it on something crunchy. So either rice cakes or bread. In this case, we're gonna toast up some bread. But yeah, super simple, 24 grams of protein in these two guys. And that's gonna be our post-workout meal. Now we've got our bread toasted. Next thing we're gonna do, crack open our two cottage cheese containers. And what I personally like to do is put the hot sauce right on top of the cottage cheese, mix it up, and then put it on the toast. So that's what we're gonna do. And there is our post-workout meal. I'll read off the macros real quick. So for this meal, it is 380 calories, 50 grams of carbs, seven grams of fat, and 34 grams of protein. So without further ado, we'll dig in. That wraps up meal number two. Super simple, quick and easy, high protein post-workout snack. Next we've got meal number three. We're gonna do some barbecue chicken tacos. And it's time for meal number three. Like I said earlier, some barbecue chicken tacos. I'm actually gonna make them into like taquitos and many burritos and finish them on the grill, make that cheese nice and melty and crisp up the tortilla. Right here we got 10 ounces of chicken thighs with just a little bit of Lowry seasoning on it in the air fryer at 375 degrees for 12 minutes. Then we added one serving of our no sugar added original sweet baby raised barbecue sauce. This stuff's fantastic. Now we're gonna assemble our taquitos or our mini burritos, whatever you want to call them, with two servings of cheese spread throughout three tortillas as well as some shredded lettuce. We have our three mini burritos rolled. Now we're gonna throw these on the stove and let them crisp up. Meal three is now served. We also threw in a bag of Smart Pop, 100 calories of popcorn right here, one apple, and of course, the best zero calorie drink out there, Fresca. But we've got our three little burritos. Now, just a little charred up. We got those we're gonna dig into. But first off, let me read the calories for this entire meal. So for everything you see here, burritos, popcorn, apple, it is 875 calories, 97 grams of carbs, 35 grams of fat, and 88 grams of protein. I cannot wait to dig in. I'm really hungry. It's been a while since our little post-workout snack. First things first, I think we gotta just bite into one of these guys. Hopefully give you a nice cross section. See the chicken, cheese, lettuce. That tastes absolutely delicious. I'm gonna dig in, enjoy the rest of this, and I'll see you guys at meal number four. We've got a protein cookie skillet with some ice cream on top. Absolutely fantastic recipe for my guy, flexible dieting lifestyle, but I'll see you guys when I make that. It is time for dessert or meal number four. where We've got our protein cookie skillet with a little bit of ice cream on top. I have a big sweet tooth right now, so let's satisfy it. First, I'll read you guys the ingredients, get that all the way, because pretty much mix all the ingredients together and cooking it but we need 30 grams of flour, 30 grams of protein powder of your choice, I'm going with the Ghost Oreo Whey. We need 20 grams of this cookie butter protein powder, also from Flexible Dining Lifestyle. We need two grams of baking powder, which we've got right here, 50 grams of Greek yogurt. We're gonna do 30 grams of sugar-free syrup, one large egg, which we've got right here, and then as much chocolate chips as you want. I'm gonna be using 25 grams. And yeah, essentially what we're gonna do, mix that all together in this bowl here, spray our cast iron skillet with some olive oil spray so it doesn't stick, and then cook it in the air fryer at 275 degrees for six minutes. There we go, we have our protein cookie skillet. Now we need to throw it in the air fryer, like I said, 275 for six minutes. 
Our protein cookie is now out of the air fryer. It is super hot, but last thing we've got to do is just top it with some ice cream. We've got this homemade vanilla bean ice cream. You can use Halo Top if you want, but I'm just gonna use one serving of this, which is 110 grams. So I'll weigh that out. Move that spoon. Is our protein cookie with some vanilla ice cream. Real quick, before we dig in, we do need to like cool off a little bit. I'll read off the macros to you guys. For the entire cookie, including the ice cream, it comes out to be 723 calories, 81 grams of carbs, 28 grams of fat, and 41 grams of protein. The ice cream was 210 calories, 17 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fat, and four grams of protein. So if you wanna take basically 200 calories off, the protein cookie itself is only about 500 calories. This is gonna be super delicious. Let's see if we can get a bite without burning ourselves too bad. That is still very hot. Absolutely delicious. Now we'll go over the total calories for the entire day. We had a total of 3,046 calories, 215 grams of protein, 372 grams of carbs, and 109 grams of fat. If anything, I would say maybe bring my fats down a little bit and my carbs up. Regardless, I focus on protein and overall calories for the most part, and obviously foods I enjoy, the barbecue chicken, this protein cookie, which is absolutely delicious, my smoothie, peanut butter earlier, all the good stuff. I'm gonna dig into the rest of this, Make sure you guys leave a like. Comment down below if you guys do enjoy the workouts in these full days of eating or you want workouts completely separate. Just let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and also subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.